the Diamond Heights Cable Blanket. Hi, I'm Kristen and welcome back to my channel, Studio Knit. This Diamond Heights Blanket creates a full-size cozy cable knit throw. This design features impressive twisted moss diamonds for unique home decor. The blanket size is 42 inches by 62 inches long. The body of our cable motif is a repeatable pattern of the Diamond Moss cable stitch. It rests atop a reverse stockinette stitch background with the double moss stitch within each diamond. Each row of diamonds is connected by a thick twisted cable. For our knitting supplies, we're using yarn that is super bulky weight number six. I'm using Lion Brand yarn, Wool Ease Thick and Quick. And with this yarn, it requires 11 balls to knit up the entire blanket. Our knitting needles are circular size 11 US that are 36 inches in length, scissors, a tapestry needle, and a cable needle. I'm just using a double pointed needle. I suggest using stitch markers. I just use little scraps of yarn. The written instructions are available totally for free over on my website. And here is a printable PDF. This is available in my Studio Knit shop for purchase. And you'll see it's 11 pages. It gives you full photos and all of the information that you need stitch by stitch, row by row, and step by step. You'll see here that I have my color-coded cable system. So if you like to read knitting charts, you can do that. It also kind of helps you get an understanding of the blanket construction a little bit better. And then here are the cable stitches. They each have their own color. So at a glance, it's just a little bit easier for people to knit up these cable stitches. And the cable pattern itself is 32 rows. And you'll see that each row is sectioned off into 11 different sections. On the last two pages, I have a large size of the chart for you to print out. So if you're somebody who likes to knit exclusively from charts, then this is really helpful for you. So let's knit it up. To begin, we are casting on 112 stitches onto our circular needle. For right-handed knitters, when you are knitting flat on circular needles, you have the needle with your working yarn in your left hand and your empty needle in your right. Of course, if you are knitting left-handed, then this advice is just the opposite. Step two is knitting the bottom border. It's the double moss stitch, which is a series of knits and purls. Step three is the entire cable body of the blanket. I do recommend adding the stitch markers per the written instructions. It really helps section off each area of the cable pattern so that if you lose your place, get a little confused, it helps guide you as you knit. Our 1-1 cables are featured on the right and left edges of our blanket. So let's start on our 1-1 cable stitches. The first one is 1-1 L, and that is a left slanting cable. So we're slipping one, we're holding the cable needle in the front, and then we are knitting one stitch from our main needle and knitting one stitch from the cable needle. It's creating a small little rope stitch that is slanting to the left. 1-1-R, one, one very similar. We're slipping one stitch, but this time we're holding the cable needle to the back. And then we are knitting one stitch from our main needle and knitting one stitch from the cable needle. Again, this is creating a small little rope cable and it is slanting to the right. The two two cable stitches, first you can see them on the sides between our two smaller one one rope cables. We're also using our two two cables to create the diamond shape slanting to the right and to the left. 
the 2-2-L cable. We're slipping two stitches, holding the cable needle to the front of our work, and then we are knitting two stitches from our main needle and knitting two stitches from our cable needle. You'll start to see that all of the cable stitches we're using in this blanket are all just using a knit stitch. We are not adding pearls into any of these cable stitches. The 2-2-R is slipping two stitches and holding that cable needle to the back while we knit two stitches from our main needle and knit two stitches from our cable needle. And this creates a right slanting cable. The largest cables are the four fours, and those are creating big, chunky rope braids that are connecting our diamond cables. Slipping four stitches now. So the first one here is four, four L. We are slipping four stitches onto our cable needle, and we're going to hold it to the front. Then we knit four stitches from our main needle, this is where I really need to stretch that yarn on the cable needle to have it meet up to my main needle. And then we are knitting four stitches from that cable needle. Again, there will be some extra tension. Just stretch that yarn up, let it know where you want it to go. And it creates these beautiful chunky cables. And this one is slanting to the left. Conversely, with the 4-4-R, we are slipping four stitches onto our cable needle. We're holding it to the back and then knitting four stitches from our main needle. And again, the four stitches from our cable needle do require a bit of stretching. And you just knit four stitches from the cable needle. Step four, we are knitting the top border again in the double moss stitch, just knits and purls. Step five, we're casting off and finishing. So it's just the standard cast off, standard bind off, just do it loosely and cut your yarn, weave it through your tapestry needle and finish off that last little stitch. Weave in your yarn ends and you are done. It's optional to block your work. I wet blocked my blanket, but it also looks really great just fresh off the needles. I hope you are inspired to knit up my Diamond Heights cable blanket. If you love knitting cables, check out my entire cable playlist, including my popular heart cable scarf pattern. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you here next time. Bye.